Leo. So what's up, everybody? Welcome to another show um, of Dead Radio. And with your main man, Bang is Dead. And today, you know, I've got a special guest, you know. We only have special guests. Um, what's up, bro? How you doing? Um, I'm good. How, how are you? I'm, I'm great, man. I can't complain. So um, before yeah. we get everything, let me allow you to introduce yourself, bro. Like, who are you and what do you do? So I'm David Chawalala, a.k.a. Slain Goliath. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. And I suppose my most recent sort of um, addition to my bio is that I'm a social commentator. I think I've seen that my work is actually social commentary. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I actually want to get into that because I think the story behind it is actually like pretty cool, just based on like the development of, uh, of the concept, you know? Um, but yeah, before we just get into that, I, I, um, I, I, like this is just a standard thing that happens all the time. So I'd like to talk about like your background. So, um, where are you from? Um, mm-hmm. which school did you go to? And like, what basically inspired you in the beginning for you to think of graphic design? You know, especially based with your background. Mm-hmm. So I'm from I'm from Harrisburg. Uh, it's a small town in the Free State. Oh, yeah. Small, smallest town in the Free State. A lot of people, I suppose, they think it's in KZN or Durban. It's between right. Durban and, uh, and Dover, yeah. So very small, but yeah, I mean, like not a lot happens there. And I think when you're there, the main thing you want to do is just get out, like right. go to Bloom, which is the next city, or Joburg, which is the ultimate. So yeah, I went to uh, Harrisburg High School. Um, right. that's it, yeah, multiracial school. Formerly all white type of school had a I'd say normal normal education I suppose I wasn't really into sports I sucked at sports um, I sucked at maths was good at always loved writing I was always being creative um, I was a kid drawing sketching on the table what was that what were you writing sorry to interrupt you like what was on your mind around those times. Oh, I did poetry. And I used to be a rapper actually in high school. I used to call myself oh. Lady uh, D. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had my stuff on MySpace, actually. Uh, I should actually check it out. I don't know if it's gone with MySpace, but I my doubt. music is actually on MySpace. <laughs> I hope so. I hope it's gone. But yeah, I used to rap. Yeah, I used to rap. Yeah, like there was this era of um, Fruity Loops. Um, right. I the beach with my friends and just having fun. And I think I sold like probably 40, 50 CDs. I actually sold CDs. There was, you know, there was a good, yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. So you're actually yeah. serious about this thing. Like, it wasn't like I'm a rapper. Like, you were serious. I'm serious. And it's one of those things that almost started as a bit of a joke. And then people start liking it. So you end up taking it seriously. And then um, I, I, I was just known for just rapping. And right. Yeah. Yeah, I think hip hop has been a major influence in everything I do. Just, just that cause of uh, that lifestyle. Dope, dope. Okay, so you're in the school. Um, you're writing, and you're not good at sports. Um, like what? What's the breaking point? Um, when you start or when you discover um graphic designing? I think back then I don't know how it is now, but grade ten. So grade eight, grade nine in high school, you basically, you have to do every subject, I think. But then grade 10, you sort of choose, I think yes. it's commerce, commerce or something else. Yeah, you're yeah, right. I'm really old. Commerce and sciences, I think. <laughs> but it's like numbers or, yeah. No, you're and, right. You're right. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I couldn't pick math, so I picked business economics. I couldn't pick science, so I picked computer typing. Um, right. I couldn't pick the science I couldn't pick, and then I picked a uh, technical drawing, which is almost like geometry, but not as hardcore. So I knew then that my career has to be in the arts um, right. or entertainment, I suppose, but not the the sciences, the usual stuff, you know. Um, I was good at drawing, graphic design made sense, and I think at the time IT, um, it was it was like a, the buzzword. Everyone was doing IT. Everyone, you know. Um, I chose graphic design and yeah, uh, that's what I studied in tertiary as well. Um, it just made sense as a career option. 
Right, definitely, dude. So you yeah. studied in tertiary, then you decide to move to Joburg. But now, <laughs> what like what forces you to make that leap? Because obviously, from where you're from, having to tell your parents that yo, I'm going to Joburg for graphic designing. I'm sure back at that time, um, it wasn't really something that they accepted very well. Not, yeah, you're right, not really, but it's nice. I think graphic design is better than, well, in terms of convincing your parents, I think it's better than fashion or photography. Um, yeah. um, and especially when I show them examples, you know, you yeah. take a magazine, oh, oh, fashion, sorry, well, I, I think you would know me. <laughs> but you're right. You, uh, yeah. But imagine telling your parents, I'm gonna, yeah, when I'm in clothes and, you know, but it, it's, I think this day and age, it's more acceptable, I think. I mean, Definitely. I mean, for me, what 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 I did was I knew that if I had to tell my friends, my parents that I'm leaving university, right, and I'm mm. going to do fashion, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. So I told them that I'm leaving university, but now I'm going to get an apartment. And that's literally how everything started, where I just had an apartment. Yeah. I don't have an idea how the hell I'm going to pay for rent, um, but I have an apartment just to really start mm. the brand. And actually, that's how it started growing. So oh. by the time I went back home, my parents already, like they could already see what I had done in that period. So it was a thing of, oh, those guys are really doing this. Okay, cool. You know, yeah. so I just, it was a hostile takeover. <laughs> if I can put it like yeah, that. Yeah, I suppose, like, um, there's this thing that Jay-Z likes saying about Kanye that he's, he's misunderstood, but... He's 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 the cowboy that took the shots, that took right. the the bullets from the Indians or something, uh, mm-hmm. or like uh, for the rest of us to sort of for like other rappers to sort of uh-huh. not have to struggle like anymore. So I think with you, I'd use the example. I think I saw you. Yeah, I've seen your clothes on I think JR AKA like music videos. Um, so it's it's people like I suppose you and me that are very important as a point of reference for. The young guy is coming up. That yeah. imagine you tell your mom that okay, this person on TV who's rapping, he's wearing the, the the clothes that I made. That that's that's a difference. That's there's something that sort of they see that okay, this is actually real. Um, yeah. Yes. So it's yeah. Real. So you so you struggling whatever hardly like making rent. Your journey to where you are now. You were sort of like I think you were taking those bullets from just life. Yeah. And now kids now can look at you and me and be like, you see, he's doing this. He's on TV doing that. That's, that's what can happen if it's graphic yeah, design. Definitely. I think definitely. we, yeah, I think we're in a good space right now um, in 2020. But then, definitely. yeah, because, yeah, but because information and resources are so available because of the internet, there's just more, yeah, there's more, there's more competition for the kids who are trying to do what we're doing, I suppose. Yes. Everyone has access to tools now. Um, so, but yeah. The- but these distractions, you know the distractions. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's like Instagram and Twitter. Like these are good platforms, you know, if used mm-hmm. right. Um, and yeah. the, the noise and the buzz is the distraction. I think one thing we haven't realized as human beings is like there's always a gift and a curse to everything. I think we always it expect is. something to be a gift a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like it's, mm-hmm. that doesn't even make sense. Like there has to be a good to something. And there has to be a bad thing. Really and the be, bad social yeah. media can handle it. <laughs> I think that's, you know? yeah, yo. it's like the yin and, yin, yin and yang. Yeah. I think with everything, said, though. Yeah. Everything. Uh, honestly, good cannot exist without bad. Like, something is only good mm-hmm. because we know something that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. literally. So every time when I, when I have conversation with people and, um, you know, sometimes people get down and they feel sad. And most of the time, I tell people like, dude, we need to, as human beings, we need to, um, like, we need to accept the happiness as mu- the same way we accept, you know, we need to accept sadness the same way we accept happiness. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. this cannot accept, like, it can't exist without your low days, like, yeah. at all. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, before we get it too deep. <laughs> so, um, who would you come to Joburg? What do you tell your parents? What's the plan? What's the goal? So, 
So, okay, yeah, so in Bloom, um, I did my BTEC. Um, it's like a fourth year sort of postgraduate sort of thing um, for like a few months. Um, and then I quit when I got this job offer. No, actually, sorry, yeah. So I did my BTEC and then I worked in Bloom for a year at, at a newspaper, um, yeah. the weekly newspaper. Yeah. As a graphic designer, obviously, layout. Quite boring, yeah. but, but I mean, yeah, like first time job, it was dope. I was earning now. Um, still staying with my mom in Bloom, though. Um, and then a year after then, I got a, I think it was actually a Facebook inbox. Um, yo, this is like, yo, I could make a biography, like a movie or something. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm sure you know Wandy from PC's Lifestyle. Yes. Um, yeah. He yes. sends me, I, I think I applied for the job somewhere, obviously. But he sends me an inbox, I think it was Facebook, telling me that they love right. my work. He's going to send us a test, but then he'll he'll reply formally on, on mail. And then I did a test thing, and then they're like, yo, we take your work. And then he told me he's actually working at another marketing agency in town. But they'd like to use me for that piece of stuff on the side now and then. I was just like, okay, this is it. I'm, I'm coming for the interview in Joburg. Interview went very well. Um, it helped that already Wandy liked me. Um, and then he's sort of boss at the time. They like my work. And then I think that's, I think for me, working with the thesis guys was just a breakthrough just for right. credibility. Yeah. Chris, well, I would have never expected that. So the, so working for CISOs was basically like your first job in Jova. Yeah. Um, the first job that I like to sort of put out there, I mean, I was working when Wandy like was working the marketing agency. Ken, right. it's since closed. But I mean, that's also it's 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 boring normal graphic design work. But then of the course. thesis stuff is what I'm pushing. Like I did a few like designs like for the t-shirts, the posters, the jam sessions, like when they had them, all all that stuff. Um, so I'd say yeah, but it was sort of my first job. Yeah, um, yeah. I say sort of because they weren't really paying me, but you know it was like. I'm doing stuff with the thesis guys. So for me, it's like credibility or exposure. Yes. I hate that word, but exposure, you know. Um, now, and in theory, now, in a way, in a way, Wendy got me a job in Joburg. Um, yeah. He got me a job in Joburg and everything else was just sort of um, procedure. It had to be done, like protocol. But he got me a job in Joburg and he worked it smart, I think, to use my skills and to use his brand, you know, saying, yo, you're working with us you can put the stuff out there, you can tell people you, and then you can get other opportunities, which actually happened afterwards. Ah, that's really yeah, good. Yeah. So, so basically, oh, that's such, that's such a good story, man. Like, damn, so, um, someone, so a group of people that are also building programs that's very local and fresh, see something in someone else, and <clears throat> um, they bring them up, and pay you with exposure look i think exposure is just the word we hate now because i mean even when i was starting up like dude i did so many like i never gave away any clothes for free but i gave like i did so many gigs for free like where um someone wants to style and i actually pay for transport to get the garment there and come back uh -huh. and you know, do all these jobs for exposure because i mean how i look at it as experience i mean it's free experience from someone that's credible you know what i mean that's something you can't get from anywhere else mm. yeah all. that's that's yeah yeah i suppose exposure is isn't a bad word it, dep it depends on on the context and yeah uh, <laughs> the agreement <laughs> between the two peeps yeah uh, <laughs> okay so now let, let's move further to the dictionary now that's how you pronounce it right yeah dictionary right. yeah so now walk me through that like um, I obviously already know it's about like current affairs. Um, mm -hmm. um, you got the concept, you, well, you called it the modern day Zapiro, which now yeah. that I discovered that it makes so much sense um, based on the context um, between you and Zapiro. Um, yeah. I'm sure that inspiration came when you were, when you were working for the newspaper. Uh, that's a nice story. That would be a nice lie for if I write a book or something, but not really. I wouldn't, <laughs> maybe it's more of a coincidence. <laughs> maybe it's more of, of, of a coincidence. Because for the newspaper, I was just doing layout and design. I mean, right. I didn't even do, I wasn't even like a cartoonist. Um, right. 
But how did it come about? I think the first piece I did was of Thick, Leo, uh, Thick Leonce. I think I had a bit of a crush on her, I think, at the time. Yeah. You know, this is like 20, 2015, 2016. So I, I just did a piece of her work. I just wrote the word Thick, and then right. she was the eye, you know. Um, that wasn't also based on that wasn't based on what's happening now or at the time I I, I didn't know where this is going. Um, right. And then a friend of mine saw and she wanted a piece as well. I think like Lofono. And then right. I drew her as well as Slim. I wrote the word Slim and then so at that right. time it could have been a body positivity project or whatever. I, I didn't know where where it was going. Right. And then you know I didn't think it was 2016 because. And then President Trump got inaugurated as like president. And then yeah. I did a like uh, WTF, like what the fuck sort of piece. Of right. that. That's really like really part of the year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> from there, like from the traction I was getting, it's like, okay, wait, let me do this when something happens um, all the time. And again, it's not, it's not a new thing. It's not, you know, it's not a, like, it's not a major breakthrough I made as a graphic designer. It's nothing right. new. People... Cartoonists have been doing that for centuries, I suppose, with newspapers or decades, right. I don't know. So, but I think the way I did it on social media, on Instagram, you know, um, if something happens now, you know, um, if right. Jacob Zuma gets married again, you know, just do a piece and then I'm not going to get traction because it's, it's happening like right now. Um, yeah. From then on, the concept was very easy. Like, just find a word and find the illustration to use. Um and then just see where it goes. Like the whole plan was to eventually do an exhibition with everything, but I haven't even. It could be, could be it in could the works. Be. It could be a book. Yeah, you but like I love pieces of work, dude. That's a lot. I'm sure now it's over 150 yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> easily, easily. I throw a, like a coffee table book, like just with the pictures, and maybe in between anecdotes or. Convos like these, where I just sort of talk about the process and the yeah. story. Stories like me coming to work, just in between. And then just the work, just the work. But I do see like a thick, just coffee table book um, in the works. Yeah, I think that would be dope. Something just play around with when it's on the table, but it's entertaining, something new every time. That's a really good idea. In a way, it's educate. it's, yeah, and it's moments that I captured in time. So it's also... Um, educational in, in, in a way. I mean, you flip back, you see the day that Donald Trump was like president and there's the art. It's the substance to it. It's not just pretty pictures. That's what I love, I think, with my work. Yeah. And you look at it as a catalog? Like it's a catalog, a body of work that you could someday flip into something real. Even, yeah. even though it is now. Yeah, yeah. And I even tried, with the same style, I tried to do like t-shirts, that was yeah, a bit yeah. of a challenge. My work is all people-centered. So yes. I just thought it might just be tricky. Us, you know, selling a t-shirt of whoever and the person has to agree. They, you know, I just... So I did the online store for a while. Um, just of like the generic stuff. Um, right. It went raw, well, but I saw it's... I respect online. It's a lot of work. Because, really? yeah, not, yeah it's, a, it's a piece on its own. It's not just... Selling something online, it's, yeah. But that could be in the works. I think the dope thing is that my website is just a platform that's there already. So right. at any time, if I want to sell stuff again, I just, I just put stuff on there. Yeah. So I think that's also important for any creative. Just have your own platform away from your social media. Have your own home where you house everything. I think because social media is it's a big, everyone is there. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Social media like, is fighting. It's just, it's nice. Guys. Yeah, hmm, like, you might be dope, but there's someone else behind you, and someone might see that person first. And the, right. uh, and when they yeah. do research, the person has a better catalog. The catalog is easily accessible, and you're actually mm. very right. I mean, like sometimes when I get um, collaboration requests, right, and I go onto the person's page, like on the gram, and there's like nothing that tells me what this person does, and I, I'm only mm. curious, like you want a collaboration, but like. There's nothing on your page that screams like who you are. So, like, how does that make any sense? Because now I don't even know what type of a person I'm working with. I don't know what the work that they produce. So when you have your own site, it's like, okay, yeah, this guy has his own site. Okay, okay, serious guy, serious guy. That and the yeah. domain. I don't understand how important the domain is. Like, bro. Credibility. Yeah. 
like a village email. <laughs> yeah, I think that is very important in in 2020. Yeah, especially okay. like especially I like this our marketing because yeah, it's 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 the basics also because I know um social media platforms drive traffic to the website. That's mm. just in general like how it is. So if you have a Facebook page, you'd be doing Facebook ads where people can click through to to the website, whether to buy stuff or just to see the new content right. or. For me, it's it makes sense. Um, right. Just makes, yeah. So now tell me, when did you start taking everything really serious now? Like, when did you see that, okay, now this is turning into yeah. uh, something that could actually be really real? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sure. when did you see that, oh, shit, okay, okay, I need to focus. Like, yeah. what, like what was that one thing that happened? And you're like, okay, no, slaying Goliath, like, yeah. I think probably the turning point was there was a time in 20, early 2017 I, I was I got invited to a TV interview um, a right. shift on a one um, and I think the attraction after was that just the social media following people asking me for stuff what do I do can I draw them can I do this I almost needed to sort of it forced me to just start my Facebook page because on Facebook I talk a lot of crap I have fun I'm just myself like I'm very yeah, faithful are. I'm all I'm always looking for a job. Like, even my manager. Okay, I suppose that's the starting point. I got a manager. Uh, yeah. Because I started to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it gives, it gives, it gives you, you know, because the chat we're having also in the in the on on Messenger. Like, yeah. I think he sort of made a valid point. Like, why do other people have have like posters? You'll be on the show as well, and you you also want to look as important or as cool as though. yeah. Stuff I wouldn't think about because I'm just excited to be, you know. So it's nice to have a second opinion and someone who just focused on making sure that my brand is on point. Right. So, yeah, the starting point was, I think, when I was on TV and then the request afterwards. That's when I started just doing the site, having proper pages. Basically, my personal Facebook, that's my that's where I just, I can post anything, I'm free. I don't have to think about reach and engagement and brands. But right. I also have a Facebook page. I also have a a Facebook page where it's basically similar on my Instagram. I just reach it on Facebook and then so it's just nice to have platforms to to be yourself I suppose also. Um I don't know, I suppose different strokes though for different folks. Of course. But, yeah. like, has a potential like differentiating between slaying Goliath and David Chawala. Has it been like a yeah. challenge? Uh would it be a challenge? Now, has it been? Like, obviously... Oh, has it this, been? Yeah, at this point in time, things um, have changed. Like, you, you, I think so. Like, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think some people take me too seriously. And I'm very, like, I'm very chill. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and, yeah. So, people, yeah. So, people approach me and they just, like... They're almost apologetic asking me stuff in, in my inbox. Or I'm like, dude, just say what you want. Let's talk. And... <laughs> I think they just see the profile, yeah, you know, they see the profile and they're like, no, you can't just, um, which makes sense because they just know the work and the same like profile, they they hardly see the personality, you know, so, um, but I think now people who follow me on just on all platforms, they can see, even Twitter, I'm a bit more chilled, whereas Instagram is also like, Seriously. Instagram is basically a business page. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. I'm not just gonna do, I'll never just post crap or memes or videos or even like the stories at least. Or, yeah, story is also cool. It's just like the behind the scenes of my life. Like, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But it's cool because as you grow, you sort of learn, okay, there are different platforms, this platforms for that, this platforms for yeah. that. Um, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, it, it's been a bit of a challenge, but I'm. Um, this get hectic. I'm just like, please, please talk to my manager, and then I just give him the emails, and then he just he just goes through all the chance takers and the low stuff like properly. <laughs> do you get a lot of chance takers? I I do get chance takers. Like people, what they, people what, are new from nah, way back then. Now this one a favor, you know. He's doing a t-shirt line, and he just wants a design. That's all he wants. He'll print himself and sell. I'm like, come on, you wanna do these t-shirts with my design? You don't wanna pay for it, and then 
you know. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather say talk to my manager because maybe he might see it differently. But be like, actually, I know this kid is actually good. Maybe you could do something with him, and you know. But it's nice just to be like, yo, just please mail this person. Thanks for keeping in touch. Um, it makes such a big difference, yo. It um, does also breathe easy, dude, because now you don't have to do any confrontational. Like, there's no confrontation whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Each yeah. time you don't want to the do that, that fight with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I avoid all, all, all these fights. Uh, yeah, so I think the past two years they've been. It's finally like the work is just like ripping off of like the previous five years. Like the past two years have been, you know, finally proper platforms, proper right. brand, you know. Um, yeah, and it's hundred percent brands coming to me like wanting to like collab and stuff. So that's that's dope also. Yeah, that's um, literally what I wanted to talk to you about. Like, I, but, I, yeah, I yeah. the way you're so vocal about um, your like the journey. You know what I mean? Like out of out of most people I know, you're like on Facebook, especially, you're very vocal about um, people um, not giving up on their craft, people focusing on their craft, people not giving up, mm. and it's just because of how things have panned out for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just, yeah. um, that goes a long way for people like myself or people that are trying to be like you because it's a thing of, you know, you, you, we, we work like hard, dude, but we, we don't see the rewards half the time you know what i mean so mm. sometimes of are the rewards even gonna come <laughs> mm. that's, you know, so, yeah that's so i that's literally what i what i wanted us to talk about because just like you're so like, like you understand your journey um was come like i don't know how to explain it like i really don't know how to explain it but anyway okay cool how did you pick yourself up after each and every failure? And as a graphic designer, what would you call you being like a failure? Is it a numbers thing? Because I mean, to me as a brand, um, if you're not selling units, um, then mm. you're not doing good. I think I've been very fortunate with, um, cause I also have so, an agency that's, that I have with my ex boss. Um, right. so, I mean, in business failure is not making a profit. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe failure is a harsh word, but, um, in business, it, it, it is numbers. Cause I also, I need a salary. I need to pay for, you frozen. Can you see, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can hear oh, you right cool. now. Yeah. Cause in business, yeah, it's numbers. You need to pay salaries and bills and everything. So I suppose there hasn't been failure in that regards, just a few ups and downs, like with any like business. Um, so, okay, but in business, I'd say fa- failure is when the client doesn't like the work and you need to like start over. But again, mm-hmm. maybe I think that's part of the process. So I think when you mature as a designer, or just as a creative, you you can see that failure is actually, it's almost like lessons for the, for the next right. time, not, not, not to think, do things properly. And... For slaying Goliath, I suppose, as, a, as an influencer, it's so dope because everything is just so organic. I just keep on doing what I do. I, just, I share the work. I share what's happening now. And then brands come to me with what they want for themselves. Um, right. And because with influencer work, with me mostly, it's just for, it's more awareness and traction. So I'm not responsible for how many units that this brand sell because I'm an influencer. It's For them, they just look at engagement and, and reach, which is usually very good because I mean the my audience on Instagram is quite large so um you're you frozen again can you hear me can you hear me yeah can you hear me yeah, but I just asked you bro but yeah yeah so I was saying I mean slang with the brand slang but like it'll be hard to like define what failure is I suppose it's just yeah. getting work like rejected and you having to start over which is not right. a train smash which is not really like a train smash um, maybe I'm yet to sort of um, see what failure is like in the nah, biggest but you don't of need to <laughs> you don't need to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to 
because sometimes life doesn't always have to be bad. <laughs> uh, but life is, you know, um, I suppose, yeah, maybe it's that. You know, maybe you could say maybe my online store is the failure, but in the exactly. bigger scheme of things, it's something I tried and I saw this actually needs work. I probably need to get a, you know, a young intern or whatever just to focus purely on that and, 100%. You know, I once tried doing like emojis, like personal emojis of of myself. So yeah, so when you chat on WhatsApp or Facebook or whatever, if you just send a normal like laughing face, I send myself like like laughing. So it's just me. Um, and it's crazy because similar things have been done, I think, but it's still like these emojis, but it's still not exactly like how I envisioned it. Like, just right. my personal experience with that. So maybe that's failure as well, because I just sort of gave up on it. It looked expensive. Um, but it's very important to experiment also, I think, as a creative, as an artist. Just mm. To play around with stuff outside what you're doing. So outside the dictionary, I'm always playing around with ideas, and some will happen, some won't. I suppose that's the way you could say that failure is, I suppose, with right. ideas that really popped off. Um, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I, I don't beat myself up about them, so. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think think Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I get exactly what you mean. But I think, I, I see what you mean. I, I get, I guess the better you get as like a, a graphic designer, right? People start mm. coming to you for your style and not wanting yeah. something out of their brain. Yeah, that's right. true. I think, yeah, I think with me, Specifically because of the dictionary stuff, they see how popular it gets. So they see as they could get the same traction if they use like my right. style, which is gold for any creative. When people come to you for that sort of like signature, because um, there's also like generic stuff that any fashion designer can do, any graphic designer can do, where you can see, you know, um, a piece or an outfit where it's just a basic T, a basic white T where you could, anyone can do it. But then right. if they want a specific one, a dead a specific one from you, that's that's gold because they they see what they they know what they want, the stitching, the the cuts, oh, no. whatever terminology is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like the cuts. I don't even know if that's a <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So it's important to have a signature, like I think anything. I think music, art, like Definitely. people come to you because yeah, yeah. So that's my advice, I think, to any creative, like, do something that only you can do that well, and then, you know, be versatile where you can. Right. Uh, so, what do you think, right, out of your character is, like, um, the one thing that helped you get where you, like, get where you are right now? Like, when you look at yourself... And I wouldn't necessarily say when you compare yourself to someone else, but you know, we yeah. all know one thing that, like, yeah, nah, this is why I am where I am because of this one thing. I I definitely think I don't know. I I read I was seeing something that if you call yourself humble, you're not you're not being humble because you're sort of giving <laughs> yourself. But I yeah. think I'm very. But I I think I'm very open. The thing is, I'm very open to anyone or anything, and. I'm not judging other people with a lot of followers or whatever. You know right. those like um, sixty thousand followers, but you're following like twenty, like two hundred people. I'm not like that. Um, I'm very open. If anything, I wanna be in contact with as many people as I can because yeah, I don't know what they may offer me. Wait, if if you don't follow, if you don't follow a lot of um. Uh, people does it doesn't mean you you're arrogant. No, but it means no, but, no. And I always do this, and I open the I I open those few people that that person follows, and like you can tell it's like it's other popular, it's like clicky type. I'm I don't know, but each to his own. But I'm not like that. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. I mean, I'm only speaking for myself because I've got this, I've had this a lot where people think I'm a I'm arrogant because I only follow like one person. Which is dead. Um, yeah. I mean, but the then, only reason yeah. I do that is because. So back then, when I used to follow other um, designers and other people that used to like inspire me, that thing, yeah. that stuff would subconsciously um, 
inspire me. Do you know, get what mm. I mean? So when I'd be designing stuff, I'd subconsciously incorporate something I saw on the gram. And for me, exactly. that was a problem. It was a big problem. So that's why I just decided to just unfollow someone mm. and um, focus on dead. Because the more I see dead, then maybe the more I can try develop it and see the faults you know that's what i thought to myself so yeah <laughs> just cleaning my case yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i suppose <laughs> I, I, I suppose the point i'm making is that i'm open to like i follow the people that i follow that inspire me that have done things that i think are, are bigger and better than me obviously that are more popular as well but i also follow you know just a random person who's, who's, who's their chef and they don't have that many followers and they followed me back. I'd easily like follow back without thinking about who are you, like what are you going to give me? Because I just see it as someone who's a new, a new member of my audience who likes my work. Like, I assume if you follow me on, on Instagram, it's because you like my work or someone told you about it. or Because that's all there is, it's the work. Um, from the, dis- the description in my bio and everything, it's all about the work. So... It point. makes sense to follow you back, yeah. And the one that I don't follow back, obviously, you can't, like, I can't, yeah. I'm not <laughs> old with <on> Instagram. <laughs> but if you were to ask me, please follow me back. This is who I am. I'll, I'll, I'll do it fast. So I'm saying for me, I think that's my thing. I think that's my superpower or my, is that I'm open to anyone, I mean, anything. I'm approachable. Um, um, now when my I'm, work speaks, yeah, because my work speaks to everyone. It's, it's not just the cool kids or just the youth. It's, it's it resonates with everyone and everything because it's it's based on what's happening today in the world. So, right. yeah. I won't lie. You, you're giving me a different way of viewing things now because what you just said um, <laughs> makes a lot of sense, like a lot of sense. Um, mm. So. I don't know. I'm going to talk to the viewers um, and you as well. So normally there's a different setting, you know, like I normally recorded like a, a sky as a background. Um, yeah. That's just thing. But today uh, my day ran over longer than... <laughs> than <laughs> I, <guess. You laughs> I know, thought like, this is the whole thing. Thought that, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm normally like outside, dude. But the thing is, I uh, knew that if I don't record you today, um, I won't get you again. Like I just knew... <laughs> Because now you're busy, like, because I know we yeah. were supposed to be last time, so I was, in my mind, I was just like, nah, I have to make it work somehow. Yeah. But yeah, here we are. Yeah. So you're like really busy. Like, what are you really busy with? Because you're like really, really busy. I think people also should know, I don't know how other um, similar people with my profile or influencers or, but I, okay. My, my my work my 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 nine to five is my design agency. So right. doing banners and business cards for for people you you, you don't even know it's just normal people who just quit their corporate jobs to start their own things. I'm doing right. logos for them. I'm doing that's you know that's what pays my bills essentially. Um, right. So I'm busy with actual work like. Um, my biggest side, I think, has been MTV Base, like Viacom, the recent Youth Day thing they did. Um, right. Just doing all, all the online artwork, yeah. So not everything I do is like, not everything I do is slaying Goliath is now doing stuff with MTV Base. No, they're just a client from my agency. Um, that's the work I do. Um, do you slaying uh, Goliath? Like when you pitch to a new agency? No, so... With that, it's it's totally like Sukechi, like the my design uh, like agency. Whereas right. like Slain Goliath, I, it's just the influencer. I suppose I call it influencer stuff now. It's just brands wanting to do something with me. That's Slain Goliath. Uh, I, I think that it's helped also just to separate. So yeah. So if 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 you wanna redo like your logo, it's, I won't be like Slain Goliath and dead. We, you know, it's not <laughs> a you know. <laughs> I'm just, no, I just did a logo for you because you read through it. It's uh, not. Uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, but if you want uh, us to do something together as, you know, to collaborate on a campaign or something, then it's right. more, you know, it's, right. it falls under the slang when I sort of banner because it's just, um, yeah, it's more influence stuff. Um, right. 
the name yeah. the explanation is something you need to write down like, <laughs> like I think it's so strong you know what like you can uh, even go back to I don't know you can I even search know. Twitter record whatever the words so I use the word slaying it was before the word slaying was slang it's like it's <laughs> It's an English word, actually. It's not even, <laughs> yeah, you know, to stay a dragon, basically. This is, yeah. like, like, this is dope because I have this on my, like, this on, like, 2013, early, like, 2013. That's when I, I just came up. Um, I think my my tag, my my name on Instagram was uh, Goliath Who. Like, mm-hmm. and I just sort of thought, this is boring. Like, let me, let me change it up, but still keep the Goliath. And I said, slaying the Goliath. Um, so this was before the whole slang thing, like to slay is. Um, right. <laughs> I think just I think I think it just works with my name, like obviously, yeah, uh, David, yeah. Dude, yeah. Really, that especially when you're explaining it how, and you viewed it how you viewed it as like David being Joburg and um, so, I mean Goliath. Okay, that's the part I thought of. Hey, <laughs> Goliath, like what yeah. the fuck, bro? Yeah. Uh, I wanted like, to say we all slay Goliath. I'm thinking of that as a tag or slogan that like you also slay Goliath. You know we, but I think that's a bit too. That's catchy. That's save catchy. the world, whatever. You know, kumbaya. But because <laughs> it's not about just overcoming. You know, it's just overcoming obstacles which we all do. Like no matter how small or big. So right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just love the narrative. It's good. Like it's. The explanation, because look, to some people it might mean like slaying Goliath, but the explanation after I like discovered it, I was just like, what it, in it, the hell? I think that's so, I think that's so my back, yeah, my roots, my rapper roots. Like you know when you, yeah, you just the poetry. <laughs> when you craft in a poetry and then you, and sometimes it's a coincidence. Things just make up. They make sense. They mix, and then it just. It works, yeah. yeah. That's actually uh, it's a trademark. Yo, let me check my trademark IP things. You should. I, and I see you yeah. just re- very recently, but um, two years ago, that's when you only really started looking into trademarking um, because of the um, iconic RIP to Winnie Man- uh, Mandela oh, yeah. um, image. Mm. And, um, that's when you actually started getting into, into trademark. So now I'm, I'm assuming that every body of work that we see that you release as trademark or copyright well, I think with the work that I do on social media it's not because it's a yeah I think I think my method has been so successful because the way I actually make money is when I collaborate with brands so yeah. in theory the dictionary doesn't make money it's yes. it's almost like a vehicle it's like a promotional campaign yeah. like to keep um, like top of mind yeah so I can draw you and like you're not making money from that. I'm not making money from that. But then Nike will see that and be like, oh, that's dope. Let's do something similar to that or something, you know. So there's no need for trademarking in in in, in a sense. Um, maybe when someone takes that piece of you like that I did and they start putting on a shirt and selling, then okay, I think you might have a point. <laughs> you might have a point. I might need to sort of check what can be reused but it sounds like so much that's why i have a manager i can bring it up with him man <laughs> <It's a protective. laughs> tell him to investigate all of that <laughs> yeah 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 but but we learn as we go hey that's what i'm not yo i'm by no means i don't know it all whatever i learn as i go as well and i see how other people do things and i ask and then i sort of just like use them as a benchmark and yeah, right. but trademarking is, yeah. In general, it's important just to protect your work. Like. Right. So now, out of yeah. all collaborations, I feel like for you, just because I I, I, I read a lot of your updates on Facebook, like you're, you're quite active on Facebook. Um, and yeah. um, the Yogi Sip um, collaboration seemed like a very uh, big thing for you. I Like, yeah, the Mr. Price one was quite a move, um, you, I, I feel like you were very part of that, but I feel like the yeah. only part for you was like, yo, you guys are drinking, you guys are gonna buy yeah. something, and the packaging is something I made. You know what I mean? So it's like I my think, shit. 
And that's the thing. Not only that I made, but with my face on it and my signature and my everything, you know. For me, that's what the value is. And even the brand, they were like, dude, like whatever, you know. We are we are collaborating with you anyway. It works for both parties. Um, you know, empowering, you know, like a young black artist, black like creative. Basically, Yoga said had to like walk the walk. So right. my design, yeah. So like my design had the face of the person who did the work and that's when I inspire someone out there, and that's for them as a brand. It it also gives them props, like wow, because you could even go deeper, yeah, like as just a black face, a young black person on packaging yeah. to sell. Yeah. If you want to take it that deep, it also, but that still means like something. So the next yeah. challenge maybe for a, a brand like Yogi is not to use a lady, like a woman, like designer, to, you know, yeah, the packaging could even be like a. Just a billboard mm. for that upliftment, you know. Right. So I just like it's, it's sort of like a it, yeah. For me, that's why it's it's huge. Just the enormity of to have my face on like packaging that's gonna be sold literally, yeah, all around the country, you know. Mm. So mm. I still think it is yeah. So you're right. I think it is my biggest in terms of that. Just the yeah, reach think, of yeah. yeah. I mean, people I, who don't know me, even people who buy that and drink and they don't know me, they don't know Zika Light, but they have that in, in their hand. And I can't think of my work traveling any like further than that. Hey, you never know. You really, well, really yeah. Know. yeah. Well, yeah. We, we work, yeah, I'm working towards, obviously, <laughs> world domination, <laughs> like all of us. In the past yeah. year, too, I won't lie to you. In the past year, too, I've seen like, the name playing Goliath like grow like crazy, you know. Um, dude, I don't even remember lot when we added each other on Facebook, but ever since then, I saw this thing get big, and I think it was last year when I think I think I, I wouldn't necessarily say when all the brands, but when the Dave scenario was starting to catch like yeah a massive ground. Now now this thing because I think it got ground. I think that's one of the Jacob Zuma illustrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that went all over, yeah. Up bro, make it, like, I saw it in the newspaper article, where they were like, yeah. the artist, what, and that's when I knew that, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Something is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so think now, you're right, yeah. In between that time, what changes and what doesn't change? I suppose now that I'm, I think like when you're conscious of how big you are, um, the moves are more calculated in terms of, um, I can't just say this, like we we're saying about just like social media platforms and everything. Right. I'm more conscious of who my audience is, the popular guys, the celebrities, the big brands, people who might reshare like my work, I'm more conscious of them. So I just tread, I just tread more carefully, I suppose, because I just, I'm a personal brand, so mm, I just mm, always try to be, yeah, a positive person just to get along with everyone, not be controversial. Um, I think things change, but things don't change because I'm still oh, myself, but I'm, I'm more conscious of the bigger brand. So I'm even more careful on random things, I'd say. Um, my manager had called me on a few times, but things I've said on Twitter, and I was like, nah, bro, <laughs> that's going to be like whatever, you know. Um, <laughs> Like when people are all like this in a certain person and I join in, she's like, nah, dude. This is, you yeah, can probably work with this person. Um, or some people that have been slated also just for doing, but that's more of a personal moral thing anyway. Things yeah. that, have, yeah, people like that have been sort of shown to abuse women or just even if it's just like alleged, I just sort of seize communication or it's, it's those little things where I think I'm more conscious now. So I don't want to be the next person like being dragged for, you know, providing a platform for like abusers to abuse. So yeah, it's like the more, the more growth, the more responsibility. Cause it's like, there's more to lose. Yeah. Right. Cause there's more to lose in terms of just your reputation. Like, totally. Yeah. I agree. Fully. Yeah. I agree. A hundred percent. So now, Moving on to like now, David Shavalala, the guy. Um, mm-hmm. 
not the graphic designer now, the guy, you know what I mean? Like outside of um, what you illustrate um, and whatnot, what would you say we as men, because obviously we don't know, I don't know this answer, but you possibly don't, but we can definitely engage in a conversation and see possible solutions. But anyway, what do you think we need to do to change the mindset of other men when it comes to like gender, actually not even men, like I don't, other young people mm-hmm. possibly look up to you and I for them to treat women differently or to be at gender based yeah. violence, if, that even, if that's even a word. But do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have a responsibility. I think we all have social media platforms. I think if we've been doing it to not stop speaking, you know, mm. speaking about how, but speaking about how men, we should be the we should be the change that we want to see. I think it won't come from women. Um, and being being clear and honest about cutting ties with those who sort of continue the violence against like women, like being that hardcore like about it, and maybe using our our using our maybe popularity and influence to sort of influence government to sort of provide actual institutional change. You know. Um, so if yeah, so if you just slept, if you just slept your girlfriend and she go report it at the like police station, you will get the firmest like punishment. I think we should make, we should almost influence government to make the punishments harder and more. Just uh, I think for me, yeah, it's a tough one to answer, but I get you. For no, but I get- yeah. For real change, it needs to be government that provides the the bills that will be laws to you know. A hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, like to make a slap like it's just an example, but as bad as uh, assault or like homicide, if it's not that bad already, you know, so that we know that so everyone knows that if you slap like a girl, that's like hardcore assault, and you could be in jail for three years just an example just so right. that it's just like i don't know if that yeah you, some may argue maybe yeah but no, we need no, to I use a lot of to i mean people like feel and balula on twitter he's always he's so accessible he's not like he'll he, he'll have access to us so mm. we need to force him on, on that platform that yo bro what are you doing what are you doing um yeah. no i do yeah. really, I agree actually we could like it could basically be like what every um person does in South Africa when they strike when they not happy or something like mm. but not strike but cause such a um a disturbance that these cries are heard you know what I mean um mm. yeah, it's such a good idea actually it's actually yeah, really, I do. really good idea so like, even if, for instance, Filan Balula is the minister of whatever, transport, but he's so vocal on Twitter about random things, that's mm-hmm. when like, you get him and you ask him, Yo, please, bro, please do something about this. Talk to your mm-hmm. mates, because they're basically his mates who are like ministers of something else. <laughs> you know, yeah, they you know <laughs> the minister for women and children, blah, 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 blah. They, he, they obviously know each other. So we get him where he's at on that platform. And like, why are you like tweeting memes and jokes? Can you do this yeah. about that? I think that's, if anything, that's, you know, that's as good as seeing him in public and just asking him to do, like, something about that. Um, for me, I, yeah, for me, I think that's where it starts. Just a direct contact with government. Um, and, and to force radical change. I agree. Yeah. That, I agree. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and that might stop the guys who are doing these bad things to sort of, rethink because they know the repercussions are like major now major yeah. major yeah because yeah. i think it's big, i think it's at such a high level because of the repercussions to be quite honest with you man um and, and it's really fucked up but i think if the government really you're right if they had to tighten up the shoelaces um things will be different and them keeping quiet makes it seem like it's normal you know, yeah like yeah it's like normalized very quiet very very mm-hmm. quiet um yeah so, bro, um, at the end of every show, we have this thing where we say um, words of wisdom, like to just the future, like anyone who's watching this who looks up to you and 
just mm. want to one day work with you like what are your words of wisdom uh get in touch with my manager <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Yo, I think it was a, yeah, yeah, that line makes me feel really like you. Um, now, I think if you want to, not just, yeah, I think not just working with me, but with anyone they look up to, I think um, keep, keep doing your craft, but also the important thing is package, yeah, just package your craft in a way that it's presentable to people. Um Present your work, present your work properly, so that when people see it, they can tell a story and see who you are and what you're about. So it's not just a dope piece that you're just creating, but show your concept and your thinking, and then uh, then it's value. So when you approach me, I know like what you're about, I know what your story is. It's easier to sort of find myself like with you because there's actually like substance to your work. So I think in summary, just perfect your craft and package your craft, yeah, properly. Yeah, perfect <laughs> package properly. Okay, I might don't steal that, yo. That's <laughs> I want a piece. Perfect it, package piece. it and do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> just sign me a piece, bro. Tell your manager <laughs> to give me a piece of the check. That's it. You can use. <laughs> It's a really good idea. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's just based on my experiences. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. So you can tailor it to what you what works for you. But you need right. to, yeah, you all just look good. Yeah. 100%. Thank you so much, yeah. man. Thank you for your time. Um, I know you're a very busy person. Trust me. I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to the full stuff, bro. That's one thing I was just like. Sorry, say that again. I'm looking forward to the poster. Who who does the posters? Like uh, there's this homie called Joey. Um, Kosa yeah. is a talented young homie that we. I just he. So what happened is he uh did my illust- He did an illustration of me one time. Um, <laughs> and then as soon as Dead Radio started the first episode, I made a poster, but my poster yeah. didn't have personality whatsoever. Mm. Um, so as lockdown happened, um, because. Dead Radio started before lockdown. So as lockdown happened, I kind of had to find a new way of um, presenting um, the guest, but without using someone else's image. Mm-hmm. This it. Idea came up because um, I'm, I'm just reworking someone's image and each time it will look like a different place. And it's something that's easier to maintain than yeah. taking pictures because... As as long as my next episode has a illustration on the on the on the cover, people automatically know that's dead radio for argument's sake. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um yeah. But at home he's really talented, like he's mad. Yeah, I think we are really top, yeah. Well, don't worry, you gonna get something special, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Thanks a lot. Be safe, man. We'll be in touch. You too. Yeah, man, yeah. you too. Thanks for the platform. Cheers. No, you bro. Sure man. Yeah.